They said to Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, what's better than it? Sikhi or Islam? The question was about uh, Christianity is becoming really big in India and it's overtaking Sikhi. Mm. And are we, go, are we worried about it? Well, to be fair, it's so, already overtaken Sikhi. So the worry should have happened a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> when I checked the stats, it's the third biggest religion oh, wow. in India. Yeah. So it's, it's um, Hinduism, mm. then Islam. Mm. Then uh, uh, Christianity. Christianity yeah. So you know, Christian missionaries came to India a long time ago. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean they've been planning this for years. <laughs> yeah, and they just come in and put and they've done done a good job, I guess, isn't it? They've yeah. converted a lot of people. Yeah. So well done in that respect. And but but at the same time, they they've done like forced conversion. That's yeah. That's which, the point. Which is right? a big like uh, something that we don't really look at doing in Sikhi at all Sikhi is like totally against forced conversions yeah it's like if somebody came and you know you knew there was like on the breaking point and yeah. you could say to him join us and we'll make you happy a Sikh would even have that for in their mind and, and actually um, I've heard a Sikhi being described mm. as uh, like by some Americans as the opposite of forceful conversions yeah because they said that uh, Guru Govind Singh Ji made the Khalsa mm. to fight the the Mughals who mm. were forcefully converting yeah so you could even if you just look at that one example mm. Sikhs were uh, so against it they they stood up so much for justice mm. so much for the people that they actually got arms uh, bore arms and fought against it mm. to stop forceful conversion there you go and if you ask Guru Gobind Singh Ji because they were asked by Bahadur Shah Mm. Who was the the Mughal emperor after Aurangzeb? Mm. I think it was their son. They said to Guru Guru Gobind Singh Ji, "What's better than in it, Sikhi or Islam?" And Guru Sahib said, "To you, yours is beautiful. To us, ours is beautiful." Mm. Right. So that's the that's the kind of attitude uh, Sikhs have or Sikhs should have, but we should all have. And you know, to people that make these kind of comments, I just laugh. It, it doesn't affect it doesn't affect me. I'm sure it does mm. affect many Sikhs because you have to realize that Sikhi has never been a faith, a, a movement. A practice of big numbers mm. since the start. We've uh, always been a minority. Always been a minority. Yeah. Guru Sahib says we're the, the the rarest of the rare. Mm. Those people who truly follow the spiritual path. So just an analogy to go with that. In this world, there's about 30 million Sikhs. Yeah. There's not a lot, right? No. And just in India, it's probably about 20 to 25. Yeah. So there's not many of us. But for those people that are going to say now that, oh, look, there's not many of you guys. Are you guys failing? Do you think you failed? Mm. We've never aimed to have big numbers. Mm. And we were never told we were going to have big numbers as well. Mm. So just one analogy to go with that. In this world, whatever is rare to find, its price, its kimti is very, it's very high, it's right? Expensive, yeah. It's very expensive. Mm. If you look in the mountain, you'll find a lot of iron. Mm. But the price of iron is very low. It's very attainable. Yeah. Right? You could buy it easily. Mm. But how hard is it to find gold in the mountains? Mm. It's very hard. Very Gold is very hard to come by. Mm. But what's the worth of gold? Way more. It's way more, right? Mm. And this is the point here that when it comes to Vaiguruji, when it comes to Paramatma, that thing that is Mahan, that thing that is great, Vaiguruji has kept less of it mm. to keep its Kimti. Mm. Kimti means it's worth. It's price. And we all know that something that is in abundance, we abuse it. Mm. Right? That could be this planet. Look how we abuse the planet, all the resources that we have on the planet. Yeah. Look at the luxuries that we have around us. Yeah. Maybe even the loved ones that we have. Mm. We abuse these. When, but when they're gone, then, then we realize the worth. Then we realize the worth. And yeah. that's just like Sikhi as well. Yeah. So when people say to us, that oh you are you are less mm. there's a scatter there's this there's a there's a lack of Sikhs the way we look at it is that that less that kata is actually a bakshish it's actually a blessing from the Guru right just because we are less it doesn't mean that it's a punishment it's a bad thing we're fading mm. of course we have to take responsibility and do a parchad but it's a blessing from the Guru mm. that's where Chardi Kla comes in right mm. the positivity right we're always in high spirits yeah. Even though everything has always been against us. And I think with Sikhi, it's not a numbers game, you know? No. It comes more down to actually having love mm. for Vai Guru, right? mm. And there's a, that uh, amazing Shabbat by Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Taj Kaho Suna Leho Sabeh Jina Prem Ki Ote Nahi Prabhapayo, that Guru Sahib Ji is saying, This is the truth. Listen to this, everyone. Mm. Um, and whoever loves truly mm. Vai Guru, then he probably those guys will meet Vaiguru. <laughs> yeah, they'll meet Vaiguru and uh, 
they'll inspire others to be Vaiguji as mm-hmm. well, right? And that's the whole aim of Sikhi, right? Mm-hmm. That we're here to spread that message of Guru Nanak, which was to connect to the one mm-hmm. uh, in whichever faith you're in. That's why Guru Saji was trying to convert people to the truth, mm-hmm. right? And not in the way that people may say that, right? Mm-hmm. That we are the truth and you're false, right? Yeah. The truth is one. Yeah. There is only one. Yeah. And we're trying. We are here to try and connect people to that truth. Why right? mm. not to titles and and names and stuff like this? Why? Right? Mm. So that answers that person's question, right? If mm. we have not failed, it's the guru's blessings, right? Mm. Everything that the guru does is a blessing. Something that I heard. We, we want quality, not quantity. Yeah, it's that, that's that point as well, <laughs> right? Uh, but again, it's, it's again numbers means no, means nothing to us, right? Mm. It's not about that at all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the full podcast on our second channel, BOS TV. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get it to 10k subs.